Okay, this video isn't really a history one because that style isn't suited for a player of this caliber. So basically, here's a bunch of dumb stuff XCON's done. Because he plays more than one game mode, I'm going to split this up into two sections, based on the two he plays. I think I can relate to a lot of people when I say that the first time I saw XCON was playing on a low starred map, where he has hundreds of number ones because of one reason, his spinning ability. This is originally what stood out to me when I was a new player, since you can literally see two identical plays on the leaderboard, and yet one has so much higher a score that it's baffling. And this is because he spins fast, and in a pretty unconventional way. Obviously spinning isn't usually the most competitive category in Osu, but for a fast spin, the normal advice is to keep your cursor close to the middle and vibrate your hand as quickly as possible to spin relatively quickly. But Exxon, well, he just pops off, somehow spinning like this. This makes his plays look, well, insane. But although this is the first time I saw Exxon playing standard, he has many, much more impressive achievements. Like technically being the first player with a 1000 PP play. Yeah, this one isn't really talked about ever, because it's hidden behind a massive pile of if ranked, because of a few things. First, it's on a tag format, which are no longer able to give PP. And then on top of that, it's with touchscreen, which does make its status as the first 1k a bit questionable especially since this play would now be worth basically nothing. But being technically the first 1k isn't the only thing that makes this play interesting, because his playstyle is also not normal in the slightest. Because using his previous experience with mouse, he created a playstyle where he used both the mouse buttons and touchscreen, which in this play really doesn't make much of a difference. He just uses it to alternate occasionally. But there's one play where it stands out, where he really shows just how innovative this playstyle is. It's a sight to behold, and it makes me wonder why more people don't use it. <laughs> so far, I've talked about a lot of the more crazy, less technical aspects of his playstyle, but that's not to downplay his extreme technical skill, like his impressive reading. But what really stands out is his insane patience and consistency. I say patience because while it's not a common thing to say about a player, it's really the only accurate way to describe him. With plays like his easy halftime on Uda, showing off both of his most impressive skills. And this is just a brief overview of the insane things he's done in Osu Standard. But what we'll move on to next is what he's really spent most of his time in. Exgon is the most famous Catch the Bee player ever. And although I can't say he's the best, since my knowledge of the game mode is so low, I could say that he's at least up there. He's won Best Player of the Year despite his rank at number 33, and he technically has the catch PP record. Usually when you see one of his plays, you'll be like, whoa, that looks impossible. And then you see his live plays, and you realize they are impossible. And the funny part is, this is so easy in comparison to most of the other stuff he's done. He has the only FC on the highest starred catch map. He was also the number one catch player from the implementation of PPV2 until 2016, when he basically stopped trying, and never ended up playing the insane PP farm maps like Image Material. This is probably because catch PP is like, the worst system ever. But funnily enough, despite not playing for ranks, he has the play that best represents this with his hidden SS on a 19 star map worth over 5,000 PP. Like, what even is this play? Like, obviously the map is overrated, but that doesn't take away from the fact that he did this. As someone who doesn't play catch, I still have trouble understanding how that's possible even. He also has a Devalo SS, which looks like this. The next best score on the map is a 6 miss, over 400 combo away from the end. This is why, by most, he's considered the best catch player by a pretty wide margin, with Motion and Velperk being the only people who've really gotten close to him in skill. But 
Why is this? How can one person be so far ahead? Well, imagine if in standard, most players in the top 10 had less than a thousand hours and had only been playing since 2014 or 15 at the earliest. And then you have a player with White Cat's level of genetics or skill or whatever you want to call it that's played since 2010 and has over 2,000 hours. And you might begin to see why he's such a dominant force. Like his entire existence is legitimately just a god mode. And technically, he is the best Osu player. And so, was the title clickbait? Yes.